Hello everybody, welcome to Jade TV. I'm Jade Lab and this is Football Manager 2016 Unemployment Challenge and we've improved the youth facilities at last and I've been given an extra £14 million to spend on players though I want to save that for the time being because I don't even have the money, the way, the uh, current uh, transfer budget to in the bank balance which is slightly annoying that they would go ahead and do that but at the same time I'm confident we can get more money next season as well if we, if we stay up well not if when we stay up but I've gone through the months of October and November so let's see how we got on so our first game was away from home against Manchester United and as expected you'd think Macclesfield don't really stand a chance so when Memphis Depay scored the opening goal of the game here I knew things weren't going to go away after defending for our lives early on but it was 2-0 after a very lazy pass from Verkic and a counter-attack was started by Manchester United from the corner we had won and Stefan Hansen scored to make it 2-0 with his 13th league goal, 13th goal of the season to give Manchester United the win. Though admittedly Manchester United did not have it all go their way when Mirez tried to get past Cavahal and Cavahal just tripped him and got himself sent off after getting his second yellow card for that tackle. We may have been beaten, we may have been absolutely dominated, but at least we got some positive thing out of it in the end. Our next game was at home to Liverpool, another big team. And it was in the 80th minute that we found ourselves going 1-0 down after defending for our lives and actually keeping Liverpool out and keeping them on, on their toes. When Kera scored the only goal of the game, his first goal of the season. And first ever goal for Liverpool to give Liverpool all three points. In a game we really deserved at least a point from if I'm completely honest with you. Our next game was away from home against Tottenham and we were forced to play our, a new goalkeeper for the very first time, Son Wajim Mayala, who couldn't stop Christian Eriksen from scoring with an effort in the 30th minute of the game to give them the lead. But just four minutes later, we found ourselves actually equalising and getting a share of the spoils. Ramos played the ball to Yanazai and he just playing a love delivery which Ramirez got on the end of to get his first ever goal for Macclesfield Town to give us a share of the spoils and to ensure that we spoiled Tottenham's day. It was the first game in November and it was at home to Sheffield Wens in the league and we found ourselves going 1-0 up inside the 8th minute of the game when Ramos got tackled by Keane only for Ramirez to get on the end of the loose ball after he found himself aiming at an open net to give us the lead. And it was in the 38th in the 83rd minute of the game, sorry, but we found ourselves going 2-0 up when Sigerson found Gabriel Ramos, who scored with that effort to find the back of the net for his fifth goal of the season and to give us all three points. Our next game was away from home against Norwich City and Keita is a stuff of nightmares for me now after he scored the opening goal of the game inside the fourth minute of the match to give Norwich the lead for his third of the season. It was 2-0 to Norwich in the 29th minute of the game when Gonzalez played the ball at the Cousins. He played the ball to Paulson, who found Kaita, who was not going to miss a chance like that to make it 2-0 his second of the game. And just six minutes later, Norwich were 3-0 up. Kaita found Gonzalez, he found Paulson, and he found Rogers, who, taking it first time, wasn't going to miss a good opportunity to get his second goal this season. We did manage to get a goal back however after we got given a penalty and Shaw was the man who, take, who took the penalty and scored it to give us at least a bit of hope that we can get something out of this match. But it was in the 75th minute of the game that we found ourselves losing the game completely. Kaita was all the way out of here and he did this. I am still livid that went in because before that moment, I thought, oh, we have a chance to get something out of this. What a way for Kaita to get his hat-trick, though. But in the 80th minute of the game, we did get ourselves another goal back. Yanazai found Shah. He played out wide to Ramirez, and Ramirez scored his third goal of the season. Yeah, third goal of the season to give us only a consolation goal. Our next match was at home to Southampton, and... We found ourselves getting off to the perfect start when Yanazai found Ramos and Ramos found back in the net in the third minute of the game. It was just two minutes later that we found ourselves going 2-0 up. Ramirez found Valverde, 
he found Hussing, he found Shaw, and Shaw found Ramos, who scored his second of the game with that effort. Two goals in two minutes. In the 11th minute of the game, we found ourselves going 3 0 up. After Tanic got on the end of this and found Hussing, who was not going to miss that effort, but the keeper who felt he could have done better. Hassan's first ever goal from Maxwell Town ensured that we had run up winners over Southampton. It was the last game of November and we were facing off against Brighton Hove Albion, a team I felt we could really beat. But they proved me wrong. Zola scored the opening goal again with that effort for his fourth goal this season. How annoying is his haircut? Before in the first minute of the game, Brighton Hove Albion were 2 0 up. Castellano found his teammate who found Reyes who found back in the net with that effort to give Bryson a 2-0 lead. It was the second half that we really kicked off and started to come back into this. Augustinson's free kick hit the bar and Ramos found back in the net with that effort. Though despite chance after chance after chance and we had at least, I don't know, a few clear cut chances, we just either steered the ball wide had the shot saved by Fraser Forster, who got man of the match because of a 9.1 rating, which says everything. Or we just hit the woodwork or the side netting. We just didn't seem to get the second goal we really deserved to get. I think we should have at least deserved a point from this, but the fact we got nothing irritates me to no end. But this is how the table stands after December the 1st, or the fix on December the 1st, Sunday. And we're 10th place after 13 matches with... 17 points. Could be better, could be worse. I'm not going to complain. I mean, last year I was struggling to avoid relegation. We're five points clear of the relegation zone right now, but things can easily change with the teams. No one seems to be losing consist consistently unless you're ready at the moment. Or Watford, who just haven't got a win in their last five matches. Every team, apart from those two teams, have gotten at least one win in the last five, which... It's really weird to see that because I thought, okay, we've got to try our hardest to survive this season or try at least get away, build a gap. I'm thinking we can, we're can we building the gap only to find, oh god, they're clawing back towards us. We're not getting away at all. We're getting dragged back into the relegation fight no matter what we do. So yeah, it's one of those weird seasons, I think. But I'm going to end this video here. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope you like and favourite this video. It would really help me out a lot. So anyway, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.